On this episode of Pimp My Gun, we'll be testing out the mag of holding on the new aftermarket part for the BP-50, the Jack Revenger kit. This turns the BP-50 into a close quarters monster, lowering the caliber down to 9mm while increasing the magazine capacity and its speed. Let's go test it out. But before we can test it out, we gotta unlock it first, and it shouldn't take too long because these challenges seem pretty easy. Now, all these challenges are for recommended weapons. We just need 300 hip fire kills with a recommended SMG, 150 crowd freeze kills with an SMG. We need 300 kills with an assault rifle in a medium threat zone, five rapid kills 20 times with an assault rifle, and 250 kills with an assault rifle while we have four perks active. There's also another challenge for 750 kills with a recommended SMG, and a challenge for destroying 25 vehicles, but 25 vehicles is basically the whole map's worth of vehicles, so I'm gonna just be avoiding doing that and if we just get the smg one done that's just a little extra bonus xp on top but i'm pack a punching and heading right into our tier two zone right away and if we can find an outlast contract or go to a tier two exfil we'll be good to go and since we just need 250 kills in the medium threat zone with only this ar i'm gonna go ahead and get that done here at this outlast and then or this exfil and then we'll go find an outlast over in tier one to make this a lot easier and having the chainsaw attachment also makes this way easier way less brain power needed no way dude come on oh this is bullshit you gotta check for update i always gotta do it in the middle of the game all right take two luckily i had two weapons in my stash that were already recommended otherwise i'd be pissed i mean i'm still pissed but i'd be even more pissed there's a level up our medium threat kills done oh wait no that's rapid kills oh and medium threat no wait that's four perks there's our kills in a high threat zone, right? Yep. Are we all done with assault rifle kills? We are. Time to move on to the SMG. Oh, there's our hip fire kills with the SMG. Is that it? Yes, sir. 150 cryo freeze kills. And that's all five challenges from week four. So now we should have our aftermarket part. Now let's get the hell out of here before we crash again. All right, now after that debacle, we can finally test this bad boy out. And when I was making the class for it, there's five attachments that you can't use for this weapon. That's like the barrel, the comb, the stock, the mag, and the underbarrel attachment, which is kind of weird. But right off the gate, this does look insanely different from the BP-50. It's almost the entire gun looks 3D printed. And supposedly up close is supposed to be doing a lot more damage than it did before. So let's go ahead and pack a punch it get it to legendary and how much ammo do we have with this with mag of holding Ooh, 660 is not a whole lot with no way to increase that amount and you might have saw right before i pack punched i was already on low ammo after just shooting a few zombies sitting around in that area so let's hope that this can at least do some good damage and to get a good baseline for the damage let's try this against a tier 2 hvt oh and it's gonna be a disciple all right disciple how's this doing against you let's try up close and personal with it stop him from healing immediately okay his health is getting melted he's already dead so despite not having a whole lot of ammo does look like it can dish out a little bit of pain at least here in tier two things change drastically once we go into tier three but what's got me a little bit concerned for this weapon is that it's been in the mystery box for the last few weeks like you could just randomly get it out of there and i haven't really seen anybody talking about how crazy good it is just the fact that you could get it. So maybe it's just not that well known. I'm gonna hitch a ride with this guy. So not a whole lot of people were talking about the weapon, but usually when something like that happens, you can get a weapon early and it's good. I feel like people would talk about it a bit more, but let's keep testing it while we're getting the money to get the tier three. And I get some tier two zombies, even while they're buffed by a disciple. Ooh, mimic as well, gone. It's kind of shredding them. Like damage has been very good so far. Now this will be a good test against armor. Come here, Mangler. Can we break through your armor pretty quickly? Ah, we broke his helmet. Zombies, get out of here. Can we break his chest piece? We just did. And then if we just focus on headshots here. He is gone. So still killed pretty fast, but like a lot of these weapons, it seems like they struggle with armor. One more bounty and we should be good to go. Oh, and it's a mimic. We got the trifecta. Maybe that's a sign of good luck for getting all three different kinds of HVTs in here too. Oh, mimic. Where are you, buddy? There you are. How fast is this killing you? Already down to half health. Okay, grab me for a second. There you go. You get your one lick in. And now you're gone. So I wasn't the most optimistic coming to this game with this weapon, but so far it looks really good. We'll go see how it does in tier three. So let's go ahead and grab this Outlast contract. So I know we'll be fighting for these all game. And how is this doing against tier three zombies that only pack two? Killed them pretty quick. I mean, it is legendary tier, so we do get a nice buff to our damage, but it's not insanely far off from what an epic tier can do. Like, we can handle some fully armored zombies like this. 
things are looking good for the weapon. But now we got to fully pack a punch. Let's see it at its max potential. And we'll see that by starting up this contract. If any zombies want to spawn. Because we are about a quarter of the way through this contract. And I haven't seen a single one. This is happening more and more recently. All right, here we go. They're finally showing up. Looks like we're tearing through them pretty quick. I'll ADS a little bit because I know people get mad when I just hit fire the whole video. But it looks like the damage is there. Immediately pop the helmet on that armored zombie. I want to see how this can do against some HVTs. Here's just a normal disciple. He's dead pretty quickly. Oh, and he brought a speed call. How nice. Not that we need it. What about you, Mangler? How fast are you going down? Mm, relatively quick. Nothing earth shattering on that. This thing is a zombie slayer for sure. The jury's still out on bosses. And there is our contract. Anything good for me? Mm, not really. It's not terrible stuff. We can work with it. Now, I'm not seeing any contracts. Oh, I spoke too soon. There's one right here. What are we getting for this HVT? Mega bomb, maybe? Oh, let's go. We're just skipping right over the normal abomination. We're going to Big Daddy. We should probably grab some perks, though, before we go over there. We'll get this, 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 and this one. Nope, out of money. We're broke. Oh, looks like somebody already started fighting our abomination. And it's dead. What the hell? I guess we have another one right here anyways. If they're going to help us out, I might as well help them out. How much damage are we doing against them? Oh, we can't really tell. You know what? I'll still help them kill it. But I want to do another test. Night, night, buddy. All right, let's try this again. Mega bomb, please. Oh, a disciple. Tier 3 is just so packed now, you can't even do your own contracts. Like, I appreciate the free money and everything, but I'm trying to test this weapon out. Luckily, nobody's over here, so we can 1v1 this disciple. Let's Aether Shroud right off the bat. Don't you fly away from me. Let's try to get his mask broken. There we go. And now we're delivering some nice damage. And now we're out of ammo. Okay, hold on. Oh, and there's the abomination we've been looking for too. Perfect. And you know what? Let's let's keep him non-aggroed for now because we don't need a boss disciple healing him up. Let's break his hand. Get up close and personal. Deliver some nice damage. We already stunned him twice. Stop him from healing again. We already got him down to less than half. No, okay. The abomination has been alerted of our... Of our ways. Of our... Whatever. I can't even speak. All I know is disciple. Dead. Abomination is going to die here too, isn't he? Yep. Not bad. Still want to fight an abomination though. You know, maybe we'll wait for tier three to cool down a bit. Let's go try to fight the Stormcaller if he's even still there. Stormcaller, are you here? Yes, he is. With his whole gang of drug addicts over here. Um, I'm going to throw a cashmere. All your drug addicts can go into it. And I will fight you on my lonesome. No healing allowed. Oh, we are decimating his health. No healing either. Knock it off. And we are out of ammo. Good thing we threw down that cashmere. I have the ammo, please. Thank you. Stop healing. Just die. No heal. Only die. Aether Shroud on him. Don't you fly away from me. You sit here and you take this damage. And he should be dead right here. Night, night. Not bad. Took him out in a pretty decent amount of time. We we're only in here for like, what, a minute? If he didn't run out of ammo so quickly there, if I would have just restocked before we came in, could have had him dead even faster. But I do not think that was enough time for tier three to cool down. This place is swarming. Oh, we got a bounty. Abomination, please. Oh, let's go. I'm coming, buddy. It's time for you to go. Let's light him up. Broke a face immediately. Um, I'm actually going to switch to Napalm Burst here. Throw that on. Get a little extra damage on this guy since we don't have any decoys to help us out. But we can Aether Shroud. Get some nice damage in here up close and personal. What's his health at? Oh, uh, only like a third. I mean, it's not terrible because at least we're doing damage to him, but I would like to do a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. Down to half health with two heads. Gone. Oh, we got 420 bullets and shout out Weed. Now let's smoke this fucker. That was corny as hell. No wonder he stopped shooting his laser so fast. But now he's all confused. We gave him CTE. The, the Sativa's got him stunned. But now he's dead. At 
first it didn't seem like I was doing a whole lot of damage, but on that last head, it usually takes a little bit to take him down. That one kind of went by quick. This gun is just so confusing to me. Sometimes it feels like I'm killing enough zombies to pick up enough ammo to not worry about it. Other times it feels like I'm running out of ammo. And sometimes it feels like it's not doing a whole lot of damage. Other times it feels like I'm just wiping through their health bar. So I don't know what the hell's going on, but I'd say this weapon's pretty all right. Let's try this against a normal abomination. There you go, shoot your laser. I'm throwing a cashmere. Let's light him up. Head gone. Mimic, you're about to be gone. Night, night. And let's keep lighting him up. Another head gone. Okay, this is actually just wiping mega bombs quickly. Oh, and here's the laser. You know what? I'm confident that we can kill him here. I'm gonna try to stay up close because I don't think this thing has the best damage at range and he's already dead. Pretty decent weapon, I'm not gonna lie. It has its ups and downs, little inconsistencies here and there, but I'm liking it. Kinda wish I had a few other attachments to use, like if I could get like a, a larger mag to increase capacity or even just a comb. That would be a lot nicer. Cause honestly, for me, I, I feel like optics and ammunition are usually like a wasted ammo slot. And you have to use at least one of them if you're gonna try to fill out all five attachments on this gun. So that'd be the only change I'd ask for on this. Why are you flying away? Get over here. Oh, you bitch. How are you going to no-click through a wall when you have no health? And don't you dare fucking try to fly back with full health. There you go. That's what they love to do. They love to leave their little area and then they go, oh shit, I'm out of my area. And they'd like to run away and act like I was trying to lead them out just so they can heal up. They're playing games with me and I don't like it. Oh shit. I don't like being out of ammo either. Abomination, kill these hellhounds for me, please. So I can have ammo. All right, whatever. You're useless. I need to find another decoy. Oh, there's one. Perfect. We can still take you out, decoy or not. I'll just fight you from up here. And we'll jump on over to here. Still keep lighting your ass up. This thing's a monster. The zombies are pushing him up the stairs. How sweet. Where did he go? Never mind. They pushed him into the fucking ether. All right. I think we've bullied tier three long enough. Let's go and do this Elder Sigil. See how this thing can do in the Dark Aether. And I chose the older one, the original one, the more difficult one. We'll see if we can get anything good out of it. Oh, issues detected. Perfect. That's what I want to see when I load into the Dark Aether. But let's start off going for the hardest one to do. Oh, wait, I'm already lost. No, that's not it. Where's the escort one at? Oh, it's right over here. Okay. This whole castle all looks the same. It's all bricks and all little watch points like this. Let's see if we can get it done. An abomination, I don't got time for you. You are getting thermited to death. Night, night. There's the last one. Eat it. Enjoy, pal. Now let's restock. How are we doing against some tier three zombies now? Or dark aether zombies? We're doing all right. We're holding our own. But they are still pretty strong. I think this disciple's got something to do with it. But we took out most of what we could. Let's keep it moving. And let's switch to our cashmere because we brought a lot of them. I failed this escort mission too many times to not come in here prepared. But if I do lose this one, it's not my fault. It's, it's the game. It was the shaders. Oh shit, out of ammo. Okay, we need cashmere now. And we need these zombies to give me some ammo. Oh shit, we're already at 70%. Another cashmere, go. We could really use like shatter blast or brain rot. Oh, only at 60%. And we're out of ammo again. Another cashmere. Enjoy. Now right, let's keep it moving. Oh, and there's the abomination. Awesome. Well, I have no ammo. What the fuck is happening? This mimic has got me st stuck in the ground. I'm like Diglett. Let me out. All I can do is deploy parachute. This is bullshit. I came in here prepared and now they want to fuck me up. Oh, if I can somehow throw this cashmere. Okay, maybe the Mimic just saved us. They're just fucking with us. That's ridiculous, dude. I have no chance of ever completing this contract, it seems like. All the game wants to do is fuck with me. That's ridiculous. I've never seen that happen before in my life. So not only did the shaders not allow us to complete this, but the Mimic also has some ulterior motives. This is an inside job, dude. Sledgehammer does not want, me, want to see me winning. Oh, out of fucking goddamn ammo again. This is shocked. I'm just going to use the jug just because not much else we can do. We're basically already out of cashmere's. I'm about to go down right here. Unless we can grab this. Let's take this big boy out. There we go. Keep the zombies away. A jug a day keeps the zombies away. And there's another abomination. Perfect. Just the guy I'm looking for. 
Please let me kill you with this. Thank you. Right on time. Right on cue. Oh, and there's another one. Awesome. They're just throwing me through the fucking ringer. Eat shit. This is why I always do the other fucking Dark Aether. Because I got a lot better chance of getting some good items. Now I'm entirely out of cashmere with nothing to show for it. This is awful. It's alright, we'll make do. Let's hit our Aether Shroud. Wait for us to put the wand down. And that's how we activate a rocket without the animation fucking up. On to the next. Okay, for this one, we'll throw a decoy. Hit the Disciple with a Thermite. And we just pray that this Mangler don't kill us. Oh, and he does. Dick. But oh, there's an instant kill. Beautiful. Everything's working out here. If you really want to make it up to us, though, game, for fucking us over, you could just give me a legendary Aether tool for completing this. I wouldn't be mad. Oh, they gave us a Cashmere, a Monkey Bomb. That'll definitely help. So let's use that Cashmere and let's finish the contract. Remember, legendary Aether tool, pack three crystal. I'll take either. Actually, mo more of the legendary Aether tool, though. They're not listening. I am going to use Brain Rot on this, though. I think that'll help. If we got out of here with nothing but boo-boo loot, I'm going to be pissed. That always happens whenever I do this Dark Aether. New Dark Aether Superior, I'm just going to say it. And I know someone's going to say, oh, but you, all the older schematics are better. You can get all the schematics in the new Dark Aether. So lick balls, enjoy them. Do they drop thermites like it's nothing. There's so many on the ground. I'm just tossing them. Uh-oh. This is a good spot to go to. And we still made it out. And that's the contract. Last chance game. Make it up to me. You already crashed me today. You threw me into the fucking ground like I was nothing. Give me something good, please. What the fuck? All right, well, might as well get out of here before the game tries to give me one last fuck you. Look at this hall. They, oh, they try to throw me a bone. I see what you're, you're doing here, Sledgehammer. Politely suck it. So overall opinion on the BP-50's new aftermarket part, it seems to do pretty well. Despite it losing five attachment slots, the damage output for it is really nice. Definitely want to play closer up to whatever you're trying to shoot. Because once you get to the longer distances, even with Pack-A-Punch and everything, the damage starts to fall off pretty fast. But the movement speed seems better on it. The ADS speed is way faster on it. And the damage output's not bad. You can take out bosses relatively easily. It does seem a little inconsistent when it comes to bosses, though, and when it comes to armor. Like, sometimes you'll just shred through things, and other times it feels like you're struggling a bit. And that was with both hip fire and ADS, so don't be blaming it on that. But it seems to be a pretty decent weapon that just makes you extremely unlucky, so use it with caution. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and end it there. Thank you guys for watching. I truly appreciate all your love and support, and I will see you in the next one. Later.